Hi, my name's Wes. This story begins in the month of November 2007. I travelled to East Africa with my mum, dad and older brother on a study tour with Compassion Australia. We visited three separate countries over a three week period. The plane trip was long, but it was pretty exciting. I couldn't wait to see this side of the world. I personally thought I was going to be prepared for all the bad stuff, because I'd seen it on TV before. But I can tell you now, when you're in it, when you can't switch it off, it really tears you apart. I saw things that most teenage boys don't even take notice of in documentaries. HIV infected women, orphans, babies that may not even see another five years. You can't replace that. It came to the end of the three weeks and we had to fly back to Kenya. As we landed in our small safari league plane, I felt relieved to be going home. The back door opened and the rest of my family stepped down to the tarmac, but I had to finish packing my gear. I fiddled with the clips and I was rushing so I could hurry up with the others. Then I heard this exploding revving sound of an engine. I looked to see this nose of a plane stare at me through the back door. I pushed myself to the other side and I watched as this nose nudged the tail of our plane. As I spun, I saw our wing be torn up by its propeller. Large pieces of shrapnel were flying in every direction. It kept spinning until the plane's propeller made its way through the cockpit. I stood there as I watched glass explode from the front window. So much was going on, and although I watched it, I didn't believe this shit was real. Then silence. The plane had stopped moving. The propeller had come to a halt. Now I was on the floor. I didn't move because I thought it may not be over. Then I saw petrol gushing out of what was left of the wing. I grabbed my gear and I stepped out of the door. I looked around and I knew if I didn't fiddle with my bags, I wouldn't be alive right now. I walked away from the closest thing I could be to death. Usually people think, I've got another chance. I can't waste a second, but I didn't. Through my whole trip, I have seen people so close to their own death. People that are just waiting for it to come. After this experience, I just feel close to these people. They live their lives just as if they were anyone else. They just enjoy the moment. Not many people my age learn to accept death. But now it doesn't scare me. And I feel like I'm a better person for that. Yeah.